Hello everyone, I hope you're doing so well and welcome to this little video all about the oil paintings I'm working on this week. Also thank you so much for your amazing comments on my last video and don't forget to subscribe if you are new. Also I will be doing a funny question and answer session after I have shown you my painting. I was meant to do some film reviews and they are still pending because there is one movie that I haven't quite finished yet, I'm like halfway through, I think maybe three quarters of the way through so hopefully soon I will be able to fill you in on all the films I've been watching. The Good, the bad. Okay, onto the paintings, and the first painting I wanted to show you is this cat in a forest and I got so carried away painting this the other day that I actually ended up going into like this dreamland and I continued to paint, I just went off lost into another world and um, painted this landscape and really actually this painting was supposed to be completely different but I just kind of, as I say, went off into um, a daydream and as is the case sometimes with paintings they sort of take their own direction and so this has gone in a whole new direction uh, and so I hope you like the composition. This cat is basically a traveller and he is hanging around this forest looking for certain items he's going to take with him on his travels possibly some fish. This is kind of a funny shaped dragon because, because I basically sketched this out really roughly, like so roughly to the point where it just looked like a complete mess. And I started to paint it and I thought, hang on a second, this dragon is not facing the right way. It's facing the other way. And so I ended up just adding a long tail because really um, I basically painted it and drew it out initially wrong and so now it's perfectly fine it's just very funny because it wasn't the shape I was planning to go for but there we are and so this girl is in a boat and she's kind of like steer trying to steer in the other direction now I don't know if you've ever been in a boat I have been kayaking once myself and it just reminded me so much of kayaking and how when you try to change direction in a kayak how difficult it is and especially when there's a certain amount of waves uh, I have to confess though, when I went kayaking, there were no waves at all. <laughs> Finally, we have more work on this cat. I've shown this cat several times, still in development. Um, I don't know if you can see, but I've added quite a lot of butterflies and lots of different um, details, especially stars in the sky. I added more definition to the moon, the crescent moon there. I also added um, some more perspective, and I don't know if you can see it actually, because I feel like when I push, put this right up to close, my camera just loses all focus, uh, much, more, much, like, blah, much like my life. Uh, so here we go, this is the cat. I think you can see a bit better there. And um, it's nearly finished, but I really do want to add some more water lilies and definitely some more details and some more butterflies. Now onto the funny questions. I have no idea about some of these questions. I literally just found this page called thoughtcatalogue.com and so we shall see, we shall see what these questions hold. The internet is a mixture of everything. Good, bad, scary and fun. What would you say is the worst thing about the internet? <laughs> well there, there are uh, mostly good things about the internet. I do adore the internet in general. The worst, one of the worst things is when you're in a hurry on the internet and um, are searching for a recipe and you go on a website and you think you found a recipe and it will say like shepherd's pie or something I mean you know everyone knows how to make shepherd's pie but say if it was shepherd's pie and you go on there and someone is telling their life story all the way down <laughs> the article until you get like a small amount of ingredient an ingredients list and then another totally irrelevant uh, long amount of text and then you may not even get any sort of method on how to do it. So you thought to yourself, how do I actually do this? And you look on the recipe and there's no information. Why? Why? Why are there so many websites that are like this? It seems just to be cooking. It, it seems to be the only type of thing <laughs> that has this issue. If you could make one rule that everyone had to follow for one day, what would it be? Maybe watch my YouTube video. <laughs> Maybe watch one YouTube video of mine. I don't know. That might be too much torture. I feel bad. I feel bad for people already. What is the funniest thing you've seen a stranger do in public? I once saw a guy, and this is actually funny and terrible at the same time. I once saw a guy steal a sandwich from Pret-a-Manger in that he 
I was in Pret a Manger kind of looking at the sandwiches and um, what, feeling my life ebb away as you do whenever you're in Pret a Manger. And this guy um, in front of me grabbed a sandwich. It was a baguette. I will never forget that it was a baguette. And he was like, he actually said, yoink. And he turned and ran um, out of Pret a Manger, obviously without paying. And he ran so fast and obviously was trying to escape even though the cashier had not even noticed. There was a big queue and she hadn't even seen him. Nobody had seen him apart from me. So he said yoink, he started running, he ran across the road and he almost got hit by a truck. There was a massive beep sound because the truck obviously like slammed on the brakes and he managed to swerve just at the last minute and he managed to get away. But it was just, <laughs> that part is awful and terrible. But the actual way that he stole the baguette was just, I just found it really funny the way he did it. And um, it's still the funniest, strangest thing I've ever seen. Next question, would you ever eat ice cream with your hands? I love ice cream so much. My favorite flavor is um, two scoops, chocolate, and cappuccino or coffee flavour and I always used to order that in Italy whenever I was in Italy, whenever I've been in Italy, it's my favourite. So the ice cream melts really fast in Italy because the weather is so hot but also I'm a really slow eater and people always comment on this, I chew my food a ton, I don't know what it is, I think it's just a natural thing, it's not like I'm actually like doing it on purpose but Whenever I eat food, I just really like to savour the food. And so whenever I would hold an ice cream in Italy, um, it would always melt because especially having two scoops, you know, that's a lot of ice cream. And it would always run down my arm. And I would always lick it off. Yes, it is disgusting and I'm foul for doing it, but the ice cream is just too good. If you could play a minor character in your favourite movie, what would your name and job be? This character is already established. <laughs> so in North by Northwest, um, classic film obviously, when Cary Grant goes to meet someone, I'm not gonna give away too much if you haven't seen it, and so he's basically stranded in the middle of nowhere between these two crop fields, and at one point, so there's literally no one there, it's in the middle of nowhere, at one point this man appears out of nowhere and he, and Cary Grant looks at him and he thinks, that this is the guy he's supposed to meet, but he doesn't know, because he doesn't know what that guy's supposed to look like. Um, but actually it turns out that this guy is just waiting for the bus, and I would have loved to play that character, because I just think it's just such a key character in the film, but yet it is so minor. This question, if a person you've only met once before asked you to pack a bag and go on a fun and spontaneous adventure, would you go? It depends on how long you met that person, and how much you know them because if you've only met them once before does that mean like for 10 seconds i mean does that include like the postman or like the uber driver or the bus driver <laughs> or the pret a manger thief i don't know depends you know if you've met someone before and you have spent time with them and you know that they're great so then obviously it wouldn't be a big deal but <laughs> if you've only met them for like two seconds i'm not sure that's a good idea yes my battery has fallen <laughs> My battery has run out as usual, nearly. I'm like two seconds away. But thank you so much for watching and there'll be more questions and lots of fun film reviews next week. And take care guys.